Hey there everybody, welcome back to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. In the last episode, we started our big adventure with Jack, our weird blondish green haired hero, and his weird otter weasel psychic thing, Daxter, who is actually referred to as an otzel in this game, or in the franchise at least, but last time we were given a few different areas to go to, however we decided we'd head here to the Forbidden Jungle in, in hopes of finding a way to activate all of the blue eco vents around the land. So let's start off with killing a snake first and man the enemies around here can be pretty tough. And we got some good old fashioned platforming. Oh. For a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already. Yeah, yeah, Daxter. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that for a while because 90 power uh, precursor orbs isn't that crazy. Get out of here. Of a thing. Anyway, I want to be careful with enemies because it's actually a lot harder to keep your health up then it might seem and just want to make sure I don't miss any of these orbs I think I'll get those on the way back out so I won't worry about them and let's just ignore that snake you don't have to kill enemies all the time and kill you and there's a ramp here I always forget this one right need blue Rico to activate that door even though it doesn't have any weird lightning bolts over it we also have these weird tentacle things. You can hit them, but they will come back up after a short amount of time. So, ah, do, do, do. Whew, that was a close one. Anyway, we got this weird mechanical machine thingy sucking out the blue eco energy that the mayor actually told us about in the last episode, or at least the person who wants to be mayor again. Sucking out this blue eco energy that we need redirected to the village. So let's destroy that. Which will open up this lens. But before I start redirecting that back, I think I want to open up this door. And it's definitely just worth running when you have blue eco. Long jumps aren't really worth it. But with that, boom! Not in time with the dance at all. But every time I see that dance, I just have to do that arm thing that Jack does in like all of them. Anyway, if we head up to this weird mirror thing that came up, we can redirect it towards the next one. Which will cause a chain all the way back to the village. We'll get that other one on the way back though. I can barely hear if slash when Daxter starts talking. And I want to go this way because of this power cell. And you can dive on the water, by the way, and go straight through that sand. Oh no, not going straight through. That just looks weird. Anyway, grabbing our power cell. Yeah. And I gotta say. If you ever want to just laugh at this game even more than you probably do already, just turn, like, change the language to Japanese. Like, that cutscene is hilarious. I might do that the next time I get a power cell, just to show off how funny that is. And I have one hit left. By the way, these yellow boxes! Do not hit those yellow... Yes, don't hit the dark eco boxes. They are yellow and bright and signify radioactive power stuff. So, yeah, be careful. And... Oh, there's precursor orbs on a bridge. I'll go get them. And jump and don't fall off the bridge. It's so easy to do that. You'd be surprised how little you actually move forward while jumping. So just be a bit cautious of that. And although collecting 50 of those small eco things is pretty darn annoying, there is a chance, like, 
It's not really a chance, it's more just some eco boxes, and we'll get those orbs a bit later, trust me guys. Some eco boxes will actually contain a big piece of green eco, I do want to fall down here. And grab this thing I missed, and you can die too. Some of them will have a big eco chunk, a bit like the blue eco chunks we've seen. Speaking of, I need to grab some of those blue eco chunks and bring it over here to that thing. And stay away from me, Piranha! Stay away from me! Okay. And I want to get the furthest one first. Just so that I'm moving towards it as I collect these. Run, Jack, run! Yeah, because your long jumps aren't sped up by your increased movement speed. But with that, boom! Lots of precursor orbs, so let's head back up here. I believe that was... What are you doing, Jack? I want to go up, not down. Anyway, across the bridge at last. Again, we will return back to where those precursor orbs above that pillar were. So, I'll save that little area there for a little bit later. Dodge the... I said dodge the spike things. There we go. And, oh, I thought there were boxes there. Maybe they're here. No, but there was an enemy I missed. If all else fails when attacking, just spin like crazy. Like, move away from... Move around them and a bit like that and spin. Spin to win. Anyway, if I grab this and head up here... The bridge is kind of still broken, but, you know... Able to walk across and levitating. Anyway, I want to head this way first, as you might have seen out of the corner of your eye. There was a ledge here with a scout fly for us. Very nice. And it's okay, there was a piece of blue Rico there for to activate this platform as we make our way further up. I'm somehow missed the platform. That's okay, once it's activated, it stays activated. So there's kind of two types of Blue Eco platforms like that then. There's one that will activate upon you going on and then not... And then once it moves back, it'll deactivate. But pretty much all of them will stay activated and move back and forth. And from this point on, you don't even... I was meant to do a high jump by crouching first, by the way. And what am I doing? Platforming is hard, guys. Like I said, it that was a high jump and I didn't even crouch. Okay, and it didn't do it again. No, no! And that's what happens if you die. I'll see you guys back up there. Showing off my gaming skills to the max. Okay, gonna just take this next platform. I'm not gonna try and jump up there again. There we go. You can now punch this button right here. And head on down inside the temple. Where we will likely find where to activate these blue eco vents that are sealed off from us. So let's head this way, the only way we can. And be sure to remember this if you're going to collect everything. Again though, if you're not going for 100% in a collectathon game like this, you should. But if you're not, then you don't really need to worry about precursor orbs too much unless you don't like exploring the areas and just like buying all the power cells but yeah make sure to remember those launch pads oh my goodness and made it oh boy and this certainly looks like a way to activate those blue eco vents Turn them on. 
There must be places to turn on the other eco fence as well. And now the temple is all glowy and looks cool. That's like seriously, this temple looks cool, guys. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? This temple looks cool. Anyway, let's head on on the head on on. Let's go and make our way through this passageway and ignore the flippy thing. Jump up here again to get those orbs and just jump over. And you, that plant knew where I was going. Speaking of plants, looks like we have ourselves a f boss fight, guys. And spikes, please. There we go. <laughs> anyway, so we're in this boss fight. Oh, oh what? You, you weren't. There we go. You weren't meant to bite me there. You have to hit its mouth, but before you can do that, you do have to defeat these small creatures here. And get hit by them. And see? It didn't bite me this time. It wasn't meant to last time. There we go. There should be three spiky creature things this time. Here they come. And if you just stay on one side and then move in the middle, they should be fine. That looks like it hurt. Should I call for backup? Daxter is totally just like the internet in personalized form. Like seriously. Nobody suits Daxter the internet better than Daxter. It's amazing. Anyway, back to stage one. There we go. And you're not buying me this time. There we are. Boom! One down, two to go. And this time, I have all my health. Look, I don't even have to move. The spikes go away just before they get to me. And let's do that again. And I just need to do that one more time. Crush it. It didn't work. Are they dancing? They were dancing. Stay back. Stay back. Please tell me. Okay. Thank goodness it made itself vulnerable again. And with that, the plant creature has been defeated. As well as that, all of those weird plant-like tentacle vine things around the forbidden jungle have disappeared. Also, if you jump on its head a few times, a few precursor orbs will appear. So make sure you grab those. And with him defeated, let's be on our way and get out of here! And there's those orbs I said I'd get later. See? I, I'm, I'm a trustworthy guy. You can, like, I did what I said I would. And don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay. No, no. He's still there. He's still there. Oh, no. Oh, I should have gone and got the things. Ah, I'll head up here and grab this scout fly first. And then I'll see you guys over by the next weird mirror trigger point thing. Once I get this power cell. Okay, here we go. Not dying this time. In fact, dying... I did die there again. But dying might have actually sped up where I needed to get to because of death warps and all that sorts of stuff. Anyway, there's another laser beam connected. Only, what, two more? Can I make it? Can I make it? Yes, I can. There we go. No snakes are eating me today. And this one's going to be right here. Come on, come on. There we go. And I'm probably not going to make that jump. Well, that's a good thing because... Wait, maybe I can't... No! No. Well, down here, there is actually something for us to do with this very loud fisherman. What do you have in the basket? Nothing to talk about. Them monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing ring. But now they're gobbling up me catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. 
I'll give you a power cell if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. You want to try the challenge? Yes, I do. This is in fact a very important power cell. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. If you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and you'll poison the whole darn catch. It's called it some mini game of sorts, anyway. This is a lot harder than it looks. It's quite sensitive and easy to mess up, even for people who are good. I'm not saying I'm good. I'm absolutely terrible. And avoid the eels. This is very much RNG though, what does come down. You really want to get the gold ones, especially because even though they are worth more and speed it up, if you miss a gold one like you just saw, that counts as you missed five pounds of fish. So yeah, don't miss the gold ones. And whatever you do, don't catch those eels. And whoa oh my goodness, it gets fast and sometimes it's straight up impossible to get some like all of them in line. Looks like you could use a bigger net. Hey, it's your net, not mine. Steady boy. Steady boy. Oh seriously enough? With the eels! Thank you! Woo! Oh, there's still eels. There's still eels. Hold steady! Here comes a big one! Big one! Oh my goodness! That was too close! You got 200 pounds of fish! Not bad for a couple of land lovers. Here's the power cell I promised. And you can use my boat at the village dock. Whenever you like. Why, thank you, fisherman buddy, old pal, old friend. I don't want to hear your laughter though, it's so loud. So let's climb our way up here. And did I get that laser thing? No, I didn't. Over the bridge I go then. Oh, be quiet. He's so loud. <laughs> right, that, that was a terrible evil laugh, but I will take it nonetheless. Because I said it and it's already there. And you guys have already heard it. I can't take it back now, can I? Anyway, with that, I believe that's the last laser pointer. No, there's one more. Okay, then let's... Do this the proper way. By dying. Yes, that's the way to do it, Jack. I mean, what are you doing, Jack? And you know what? Oh, I thought that would kill me. I want to die. I want to die. And that's the water. I'm not going to die if I hit the water. Oh, my goodness. He's laughing so much. Just die. Oh, I hit the ledge. This is so hard. Of course I str I'm struggling to die now. And just, are there any piranhas there? Anyone? Oh my goodness. He's laughing at my failure to fail. What is going on? See, now if I die here, I don't want to... Here we go, spikes. I missed the spikes anyway. I was right behind you, Jack. Really, I was. Gee, thanks for the help, Dax. Anyway, if I jump down here, I just wanted to refill my health. And it does take me back to where we need to be. And please be the last one. Oh no. Oh no. What? Um, okay, no. Um, first of all, uh, Forbidden Jungle. Connect the weak, the eco beams. We're doing that now. I've missed a couple of orbs. 
So I will go find out wherever they are right after this. We should go tell that windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. Yes, we should, Daxter, but I'm missing a couple of orbs. And it's only the first proper area to... My goodness, it's always this one, though. If I was to miss anything in the game, it would be in the Forbidden Jungle. Like, honestly, that's how... Confusing this place is even I don't perplexing. I don't know Like I will say though. I don't usually miss precursor orbs although I always miss the power cell in that room Well done Jack well done Yes, and actually that brings up a good point I would like to make if you are going to double jump, make sure you don't hesitate on your second jump! Yep. There's five orbs in the head. I got them, don't worry. And with that, the Forbidden Jungle is effectively complete. Just one power cell according to the save screen. And that power cell is actually going to be collected in Sandover Village as the mayor owes us a power cell for connecting up the whoa waterfall connecting up the blue eco beams back to power the village what? I don't know what it's powering though I mean the only bit of things that seem to need powering are in Kira's place I mean that windmill's moving but what's it actually Speedboat at the dock. During. Right, the fisherman's also given us access to Misty Island once more. But let's talk to the mayor. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful sight. I thank you. And the entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy... You earned a power cell. Power cell. Boom. And while we're here, we also have 90 orbs. So you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. You. <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. Um. There we go, and we still have quite a few power cells left, oh, not power cells, precursor orbs left over, but let's save them for some of the other villagers in the next episode. We're only five power cells away from actually progressing on to the next area, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna leave behind Misty Island and Sentinel Beach, oh no. Sorry. So, actually, I wonder if Kira has anything to say. So, I'll see you guys next time. Everybody, be sure to subscribe for more episodes when they come out. And let's end it off by hearing Kira's voice. Hey, baby. What you working on? Be careful with that. I'm trying to figure out how to transport the Zoomer using the trans pads the precursors left all over the world. If you come across one of these pads, I can lock onto your communicator's location and send you the Zoomer. Keep an eye out for a trans pad when you explore Misty Island and wherever else you go. Yeah, why thank you, Kira. I believe though, once you do speak to a character, they don't, like, you're not gonna see that cutscene again. They'll just sort of, oh wait, maybe? I've definitely figured out how to use the trans pads. Now go to Misty Island, and I'll send the Zoomer over to you. Okay, it's nothing important then, after that. Well, our next course of action then will be Sentinel Beach. So see you guys there. This has been Spiraling Helix. Bye bye